Hey everyone, that's Rocky. And that's Sarah. We are Savage Disney Pins. And today is the most magical day of the week, for it is Wednesday. In our house, we open our Disney pin mail and other stuff. But I think today is not a Pins Day Plus, is it Sarah? No Pins Day Plus today. Just pins. It's a pure pin pins day. Did some trades, did some purchases, uh, lots of good stuff. And I couldn't find an excuse to do something else. Let's open stuff. This first one was a trade from one of the Facebook groups. All of the groups that I like to trade in, I will link them down below. So if you are new to online trading or want to get involved, or maybe you don't know about these groups, check them out down below. There will be one for pins, two for pins, one for wishables, and one for Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards. And if you want to reach out to Sarah directly to initiate a trade, contact us at Savage Disney Pins on Instagram. Oh, you're going to be mad. We're starting off <laughs> this way. I get suckered into this and this is what you do to me? It's a Space Mountain cutie. It is. It is a Space Mountain cutie. For those of you that are new to our channel, I have a serious problem with this pin. Um, I think I have maybe like 30 of them at this point. If you're just getting into the, the craft or the trade or the hobby, if you will, uh, know that this is an enabling community. <laughs> and if you have a vice like collecting hundreds of Space Mountain cuties, they will fully support you in your endeavors. Yes. No yes. one will tell you to stop. <laughs> and the second one was the flounder balloon. And this is from one of the uh, magical mystery pouches. They come like six to a set, so. I needed this last one. Dun, 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 dun. Next, ooh, let's talk about these. These are really cool. So as a D23 member, every once in a while you get access to purchasing pins specific to being a member. Mm -hmm. And these are the latest ones that I have received. And they glow in the dark. Oh, these are super cool. Yeah. So, um, and I love the backer card that they came on too. So this um, Tinkerbell, she's got her little like witch's hat on and her little mask and she's sitting on top of a pumpkin. And this is a limited edition of 1750. Weird number, I don't know what it has to do with. And then Hatbox Ghost and he glows in the dark. Are these soft enamel pins? They are. That's a little, that's a little different for D23. It is. They they work though. I think it it might have to do with the the glow in the dark aspect. I'm not. Uh, that's my guess, but I'm really not sure. It's like two different types of enamel. So there's like the smooth enamel, and then there's kind of like his jacket is kind of like a gritty. It looks like a granite almost kind yeah, of finish. Yeah, like a sand finish. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, but it does still have the Mickey. Uh, backer oh good because we're in short supply of those sarah literally has popcorn buckets full of pinbacks it's just one of the buckets she has full of pinbacks <laughs> so i'm a pretty new d23 member this is my first year um probably not the greatest year to enroll in the in the program but it's been really cool i've been able to to get a few things um sent to me that have been really nice and, and different than the, the other stuff that's offered. So I do recommend the D23 membership, but maybe wait until next year. If you're a frequent park goer. Otherwise, if you're just, you know, a once a year type of person, maybe it's worth it. Yeah. Because the yeah. shopping discounts you get at like, the, the Disney outlet that we go to, Sarah gets a discount mm -hmm. and you get exclusives online and discounts online. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. This next one was a purchase. This is from a brand new fantasy pin maker. Like they're an infant? Yes. They're getting younger every day. <laughs> so this is a new pin shop. She has a few pins out, I think three or four now. Um, and this was one of the first ones that she came out with. It's, um, you can find her on Instagram at Petra's Pintronium, and I will link that down below. Sounds like you're casting a Harry Potter spell. Yeah. Petra's Pintronium. Yeah. I think it's a cute name. It is cute. I fell in love with this Disneyland popcorn box pin. So this looks like the popcorn boxes um, from like way, way back in the day. They were like the teal and white color. Yeah, they're cool looking. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this one's also a soft enamel. Really cute, well done. Fairly detailed too. The Disneyland came out really nicely and everything. So definitely go check her out. She's got a handful of pins out now. Next was another purchase from Instagram at Trinketeers. Anybody that I mention, don't worry, I will link them down below. Go check out the Trinketeers. They do park pickups and for things other than pins. So they do a whole bunch of merch too. Um, they picked up, I already opened them. I'm not gonna open them because it takes too long to open some things. And I have other things that I still need to open in the next package. So I already opened these. But I got four boxes of the Reveal Conceal pins. Uh, Disney Disguises, isn't that what this one's called? Yes, but they're but the, the, the category is Reveal Conceal. So you get two pins in the box. One of them you can see in the front of the window, mm -hmm. and then the other one is tucked behind so you don't know what it is. So it's a half mystery. It's a half mystery. Hmm. Good for those just dipping their toes into the shallow end of the mystery pins. <laughs> right. They want at least a 50% known quality. <laughs> so the reveal pins, um, you can get Aladdin, uh, Pascal, Jack, Lil John, Mater, Evil Queen. Six reveals and then six conceals. Oh, they're all in costumes. I get it. Yeah. Aladdin is Prince Ali. Pascal is disguised as a plant. A plant, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jack is Santa. Um, and Little John is when he's pretending to be the Lord in uh, the archery contest when he's tricking Prince John. Mm -hmm. um, Evil Queen. Well, then that, or, that's the just her disguise yeah. as the old hag, yeah. And Mater is tricked out like a lowrider racer thing. Yeah. Cool. cool. Okay. So in the first box, because one of them was a reveal pin, I requested that they pick up one that had Aladdin on it because I have an Aladdin collection. And then in that box, my mystery pin was Mushu. The great and powerful Mushu. Yes. In full dragon form. Yes. Next we had Mater. Also, I do want to note, the box says limited edition of 6,000. I don't know if it's been confirmed or not yet, but the back of these pins say limited release. And we got Madame Mim. Then we got the uh, ba -ba -ba, old hag and Radigan. Looking very kingly. I do really like this this pin. It's really colorful. And then in the last box, we got Pascal and a duplicate Mushu, but only one duplicate in all yeah, four boxes. Not bad. So not bad at all. Then I had asked them to pick up one more pin for me that had just come out. Mm, and it's so cute. So this is Max and Roxanne. Roxanne is dressed as like a witch and Max is dressed as Powerline. Of course he is. Yep. And they are going trick-or-treating. Yeah, the pumpkins are like a rubber element, which is mm -hmm. really cool. Yep. It's a super cute pin. Yep. And there's also, it's a pin on, it's like pin on pin, and then the buckets are also 3D. And the background here is this really pretty, like shimmery purple color. And I just think that the cartoon style on these is really cute. They came out with three different pins, the Max and Roxanne, the Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and then a Winnie the Pooh, and I want to say Piglet. I just love that Max is dressed, like he wouldn't be anything else, but I love the fact that Max is dressed up as Powerline. And the last trade was a little bit of a weird one. I had a limited edition pin that somebody had reached out to me and said that they wanted, and we made, and, and she, she, she didn't have anything like, on hand that I wanted to trade, but she did mention that she was going to Epcot the following day. So I said, how about this? How about we trade these other smaller pins that we had already just decided on trading. And then for the limited edition pin, you, if you're cool with this, purchase two of the new food and wine festival mystery boxes and we'll do a trade. And she was like, yes, two boxes of the 2020 Food and Wine Festival limited release pins. Sarah, I hope this gets to you okay. Thank you so much for the trade. Stay safe and awesome, Brittany. Sarah traded for two of the potted pin, no. potted plant pin sets. 
I'm almost got away from me there. <laughs> from the Ep- Epcot Flower and Garden <laughs> Festival. I can't even say Epcot now. Anyway, she got the mini pin, which is probably the 14th time it's been featured on this channel. <laughs> um, and the Dr. Facilier. Which I think that one's only been featured once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I keep trying to get the final pin for my mom. I'm only looking for one more. So hopefully soon. I just need the Mad Hatter hat and then we can be done with the potted plant pin set from the Flower and Garden Festival in 2020 at Epcot. I'm so tired of saying it. I can't wait for that day. <laughs> I mean, just find a cell. I'll buy it to never have to say it again for you. So we traded for those. <laughs> Is it a cutie? No. I feel like I'm being lied to. I see the shape of the pin. Uh, two in one video from two different sources. Why are you so grumpy about it? Because we live in a very small house and we don't have room for all of these space mountains. But I mean, I'm trade. it's not like I'm buying them. I'm trading them, so I'm technically just swapping out one for one that would already be in the house. Okay, you traded for these ones, but I am not ignorant enough to believe that you haven't purchased any for yourself. <laughs> Maybe a few. <laughs> okay, so there's uh, Minnie, Donald, Mickey, Daisy, Lumiere, um, Jacques and Gus Gus, Simba, Goofy, Duffy, and Remy. That's like a pretty solid that's a good mix, yeah. Yeah. This first one, we've got, oh, this is so cute. We got a mini. Nice. And we don't have a mini yet, correct? For my first one, I got a Mickey. Oh, yay. The mini and the Mickey. We got a little matching set on yeah. our first ones. That's awesome. That's cute. Oh, we got a Remy. <laughs> oh, perfect. I'm going to take a guess here on this last one and say it's goofy. You think you can feel it? I don't think I'm wrong. It's Remy. <laughs> oh, another Remy. <laughs> Perfect. The reason we wanted Remy so bad while we were there is because we did the Remy scavenger hunt, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. And infinitely harder at night. So yes. if you're there and you want a challenge, do this scavenger hunt in the dark. Uh, look forward to a video about that too, because we are we did the scavenger hunt in Epcot, and we also did the one in Animal Kingdom, and we are going to put out a video about those in the future. Yeah, stay tuned for those. Yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got for now. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button down below. For more content and videos and pin mail hauls just like this, click subscribe. Until next time, everybody, stay savage. Bye. See ya. Oh, I got the squeaky chair this time. That's me. Oh. Totally me. Oh.